throw for the bullseye first. And there he is, Luke Littler, back in Outside. action. At the Players' Championship away from the Kings bright Rumble. lights of the big stage of the Premier League where he won in Manchester. A huge honour for him to take that title in that city. But First. today Luke is doing his lobbing here in Leicester. And up against the man he knows very well in Keane Barry. They've played plenty of times on their way up and Keen Barry has had a front row seat to that many times Paul Nicholson just a bit but what is it today about people 100. playing an opponent that they've already played this year it's amazing how many times it happens all it wants is to get the same result since the last time these two played which wasn't that long ago but 100. there was a bit of a story attached to it yeah get the same result the same outcome but with a little less stress you would think because Luke beat Keenberry here in Leicester at Players Championship 3 6-5 but had to survive five match darts in a last leg decider in that one so he knows what Keenberry is all about the man who beat him in the yeah, JDC World Championship quarterfinals back in 2019 and the final of the JDC Super 16 in 2020 that's the Junior Darts Corporation I think Luke was about, what, four years old then? Four and a half, probably. Forty-five tops. Not successful, and Little can get an immediate break of throw. Double top, does Game it. Shot. Clattered off that dart as well, he used it to lead this match. Should be pointed out that he has won every meeting since the two I just mentioned, including another one here in Leicester on the development tour in a quarter-final last year. 97. He also beat him in a World Championship youth event. Went on to win that event in Leicester 100. as well. Being Bradley Roos in the final on that occasion. 85. I know that Littler's constantly under pressure when it comes to media attention, obviously playing Premier League every Thursday. And now that he's top of the league, he's removed an awful lot of pressure on himself early in the season so he can just go out there and play. Winning a European Tour event, winning one of these as well, and obviously getting nine daughters, very well documented. But don't underestimate the power of 60. getting results early in a season so that he can go out to places like this and to other European tour events where he can say the worst case scenario is it looks like I'm going to be in the match play anyway and he's not going to be playing this weekend in Risa because he didn't qualify 140 he's got a weekend off and I think in a Premier League campaign that's going to be vital for him yeah someone say he's done a lot of the hard work in the Premier League now with a couple of wins to his name finally Barry needing a treble, can't find one, so Littler 69. has options here. He's got a big area to aim at, 16s and 8s. Chooses 8 for tops, and now his favourite double, double 10. 38. Oh, he's not found it on this occasion. Almost shocked to say that. Every now and again, you do miss your favourite. Keane doesn't miss his. Always worth watching the throw of Luke Littler, isn't it? Wayne Mardle gave some excellent analysis in the Premier League about the fact that he will just change away throws from time to time. Sometimes it's that little bit of a flick in the wrist, sometimes it's not there, sometimes he'll throw flatties, sometimes he won't. It's called variety. I mean, we've seen him playing at the Moda Super Series last year where he's gone full matches just throwing flatties, just for practice. Yes. And take it to the next level. In one day, he used his dad's darts <laughs> because he just felt like it. And he was still 68. brilliant. Well, Keen Barry, as it turns out, always throws 60. flatties. That's just the way he chucks. Stackers. Fascinatingly, I think Willie O'Connor used to throw very flat darts. But then he changed his style to get them to stand up like Littler. And I think there are people out there at the minute, people like Rusty Jake Rodriguez, 60. who have seen the success of Littler and they're trying to adapt their style to his. He is having an effect on other people. 
has got some interesting ways for checkouts as well. I'm sure we'll see some in this game. 105 is one of those where we might see something creative. Like Bull 5 Bull? 100. I don't think he'd go that far at this point, but who knows? Well, maybe that was the intention, Paul. Thought that was a bit of a half-hearted attempt at tops. Would have needed two of them to win the leg. We'll need one unless Barry finds that target himself. Audible 10. 36. And Khan, so Littler to lead. There's two darts in the last leg. Two dream guides. Game shot. I wonder if you were having the tiniest little flutter, how much would you have guaranteed on him hitting that? <laughs> it looked like it was begging to collect into the tops. Well, what's gone on there? Bit of a... 60. I don't think we should forget, you know, as we look at the replay here, it's come straight off the flight first. All the m momentum has been taken by those molded flights. But I don't think we should forget that as little as four years ago, 60. <coughs> Keen Barry was Luke Littler. He turned 18 during COVID, but before that, he was 92. the best player in the world under 18. Nobody could beat him. He was winning everything. 45. He didn't get the media attention that Littler has had, but albeit <laughs> Keen Barry didn't make a world final. Yeah, was doing it in a kind of more disguised 57. fashion, wasn't he? What Paul's saying is winning all the stuff on the JDC and in development tour darts and things like that, where the difference with Luke 56. is that he was going to those WDF men's tournaments and winning those in his not just teenagers but pre-16 Trevor 11 was a target with the second 85. dart there again that's a rarely used route isn't it on 133 100 when it comes to routes I think Littler is about as clever as the cleverest sat now the dartboard could possibly have every now and again he'll sip from the conventional cup game shot but he does have the spectacular in the locker. And this looks a bit more comfortable than the last time they played. I do think that sometimes... People used to say that no, Phil dear. Taylor would do certain things to try and get the best out of his game. And I look at Luke Littler's darts at tops at certain times, particularly when his opponent's not on a double. Often they drop low. And I just wonder if sometimes he intentionally aims for the lower part of tops, knowing that he'll get double ten if he misses there. That would be an interesting conversation to have with him. But the, the interesting thing is when he was spoken to by Emma Payton and Wayne Mardell at the end of the Premier League on Thursday night and he'd done a few things in the match, he just couldn't 56. explain it. I just did what he felt like, basically, was the answer. He plays the game organically, the way he feels it. Yeah, instinct, isn't it? What he's trying to do at the minute with that dot dangling in the 60, but it does count, is he's trying to confine Keen Barry to his 11th straight first round defeat yeah remember what we said at the start of this match one of those was against Littler in a match in which he missed five darts for the game and Littler piles the pressure on again yeah double top for Keane 46 he might pay the penalty for that because it's break time once again game shot doesn't need double ten this time well, this isn't grade A or even B, maybe not even C, Luke Littler, but it's so comfortable. It's so easy. He leads 4-1. Three breaks to boot. Just two away from a very, very convincing win. It's been quite a good five weeks for the Lukes, hasn't 60. it? 60. Littler and Humphreys have won the last two European Tour events and the last five weeks in the Premier League. I wonder if they're going to be affecting people who are having babies. I wonder if the name Luke is going to have some sort of hot spot over the early part of 2024. 45. It wouldn't surprise me. We're still yet to get a Luke in darts who calls themselves Skywalker. <laughs> Must be a copyright thing. 93. Yeah, winning Belfast for Littler, his first Premier League victory. And then that fantastic 60. success in Manchester. The roadshow hits Birmingham this week. Week 11 already, Paul. 
Where's it gone? And Littler is top of the table. 100. After 10 weeks of play. Just got to protect that for the next few weeks. He would love to top the table, of 100. course, going into the playoffs, but making the playoffs is priority number one when it comes to that campaign. As for right here, tops is the priority. 96. We'll come back for 10s this time. Man, there's that low dart again. I'm convinced now. 41. Maybe I've just talked myself into it. You've made your mind up. Can use that. Just crash into it and it's yours. Game show. Like that. Easier said than done. But he does do it. He's been in the media for so many things over the last few days. He was in Denby over the weekend, wasn't he? At a football match. And... 100. I think Matt Porter, who was speaking to the Weekly Dartscast over the last few days, was very eloquent 60. about what some of the media have been doing about fake news and getting on people's cases and things like that. That was a fabulous thing to say. 180. But the fact that last week one of the big stories was that Littler was copywriting stuff is an absolute embarrassment. It's just part of his business. It is the right thing to do. When he comes to this dartboard, this is his escape away from all of that nonsense. Did you see the... Uh, before we get to the end of this match, which will be after the next visit for Luke, by the way, did you see the birthday card in a very well-known supermarket? 100. <laughs> you definitely don't Luke your age, was the tagline. Treble 20. For the ball. 103. Not quite done yet. No shot at ball for Keane, and this might be the guillotine coming down again for the 11th consecutive time in a first round match. Game shot on the match, Luke Littler. And so it is Luke Littler who demolishes Dynamite on this occasion. Last time they met, Keane missed five darts to beat this prodigious talent, but Littler has done a job on Barry this time around. The average only 93.67, Littler not even getting out of first gear really in that game but it was more than enough to deal with Barry a 6-1 success for Luke the Nuke who will take on the winner of our next match Robbie Knopps against Adam Hunt